Well, maybe Melbourne Heart have weathered the storm here because the uh, Perth glory have huffed and puffed, but they haven't been able to blow the house down. No change to the halftime scoreline. It's been a second half dominated by the visitors. But right now, John Van Skip is looking the more likely of the two coaches to end up with the three points. for time wasting for Brendan Hamill. We're inside the final minute of regulation time. They hitch. Well, Ali Babaj and Josh Mitchell get involved. But Burns is there as well. It's kicking off right at the end here. Players coming in from everywhere. And the young referee, Kurt Ams, is having a good look at what's going on in front of him. There's uh, plenty of pushing and shoving. Free kick will go for the glory. And a no yellow card at the end from the referee. He's kind of taking a few mental notes. It's a good referee, now that. Yep. Just let it go. And let's get it on. Reminds you of your days, Robbie, <laughs> that. Yeah. Driven forward. Out comes Bolton. Clean take. We're into stoppage time. There'll be three more minutes. Rutgerberg. Babalj. And straight down the throat of Balafi. Oh, they could have been made better at that moment. Babalj took it early. They were three on two. Bayic was there as well. Rutgerberg. That burst. Oh, they've been in the game tonight. Rutgerberg. Gorich looking for Pellegrino. It's well timed though by Heffern. It's very well timed indeed. Offside. And Ellie Bavage really. That's just. He had so much time to get that right. <laughs> it's, it just Part needed... of the learning curve, I guess, Robbie. It was what? Half a metre? Run on the other side of the line, and he had a free run to goal. Good ball from Fowler. Bad. Down he goes, and the referee says that's a penalty. Michael Baird has won a penalty for the glory right at the death. Kevin Ams had a good view of it. He had no hesitation. That is a big call, and Melbourne Hart can hardly believe it. Well, the ball from Fowler was a good one to Michael Baird. Oh, that's a, that's a big mistake. There's no penalty there. He didn't have lost control of it. Well, drama right at the end of the match here at Amy Park. Michael Baird, the substitute. I don't think he can even believe it. Has earned the penalty, and it's Robbie Fowler from the spot. Well, Clint Bolton has been magnificent so far this evening, but this is his biggest test. Just... Fowler full of concentration. And Fowler delivers. Fowler squares it up for the glory with his first goal for his new club and Melbourne Hart within sight of their first ever victory in the Hyundai A-League have had it snatched away
in controversial circumstances. Well, it's a, a round for controversial penalties. This is clearly no penalty. Michael Baird just falling over. And Kurt Amps, who we just bumped up, to be honest, fell for it. Robbie Fowler, cool as you would expect. He gets his first goal for Perth Glory. On the balance of play, that's all you can say now is Perth have dominated the second half. Maybe they deserve their equaliser, but certainly that was no penalty. Melbourne had only got themselves to blame with maybe something dramatic, even more dramatic, but the Barge had a great chance. Three on maybe even one player. They failed to capitalise. Goes up the other end, penalty goal. So still, neither of the Melbournes can win at home. It appears, well, or can they? Don't be too sure. The Hart had themselves a free kick. In the final seconds of the match. Anxious moments here for the glory. Rutger Verm with the set piece. In it comes from Verm. Out comes Belafi. Gets enough of the ball. So it's heartbreak for Melbourne Hart. Victory denied in the most controversial circumstances. A last gasp penalty from Robbie Fowler, enough to give Perth Glory a share of the spoils. Michael Baird.